definitely need to get my hair cut. Hopefully by the time uh, you guys are watching this, I will have had my hair cut. Hi guys, hello, bonjour, wherever you are watching. Uh, so for this week's video, I'm going to give you a rundown of my top five uh, favourite cast recordings. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking this week about um, my favourite uh, cast albums from both um, London and Broadway. And I've come up with a list um, of about 12 um, of my favourites, but I'm just going to give you my top five if I can pick them, because I've still got a whole list here. Um, do let me know in the comments below what your favourite cast albums are, I'd love to hear. Uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you don't already subscribe to my channel so you can get more uh, theatre videos as and when they happen. Uh, so please do give this video a thumbs up and tell all your friends, uh, because subscribing costs you nothing, but it will make me very happy. Um, so let's get on with cast recording number one. Okay, so I'm just going to get it out of the way because it's an obvious one, but The Greatest Showman um, is something I've had on repeat for months. I can't stop listening to it. Every track is amazing. I don't skip anything. So it's Pascal and Paul who wrote Dear Evan Hansen. Um, the film I have not seen yet, um, which is awful, but it's about to come out. I didn't see it in the cinema, but it's about to come out on... Uh, DVD download, so I'm definitely going to watch it. Hugh Jackman and Zac Efron. Um, I will happily watch anything with Zac Efron in it. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. It's based on the story of Barnum, which we have as a musical, um, but it's none of the songs from the original stage show of Barnum. It's a completely new thing. And the music is incredible. If you've not heard it, go and listen to it. You won't regret it. It's probably better than the music in Dear Evan Hansen, I would say. So for number two, I am going with cast, London cast recording of A Love Story, which was about six, seven years ago. Um, it was on at the Duchess Theatre in London's West End, and it starred Emma Williams, who's one of my favourite actresses, and Michael Xavier, and Peter Polycarpu. Um, and the music is just incredible. Um, I never get tired of listening to it. Again, it's you know, it's something that you listen to all the way through, never skip it. Um, I love every single song. And if you haven't heard it, then go and listen to it. Um, because it's literally one of my favourite albums in the world, ever. So for number three, this is a bit of a strange one, but it's a, co it's a concept recording of a musical called The In Between, written by Laura Tisdale. Now, it came out about six or seven years ago now, and I remember meeting Laura and I interviewed her. I think she was the first person I ever interviewed uh, for my YouTube channel. Uh, so you can probably find that somewhere. I'll link below if I can find it. I remember it was at West End Live and it was really noisy and it might have even been so bad that I didn't publish it. Um, but the songs are incredible. It's even to this day, I still put it on and listen to it probably at least once or twice a month. Um, the people, on the album, there's only seven songs, um, but literally the lineup of people is Diane Pilkington, Sabrina Wallowesh, Cassie Compton, Daniel Boys, Julie Atherton, Hadley Fraser, Lauren Samuels, Leon Tamney, and Alexia Kadeem. So before a lot of them were big names, um, they recorded these songs, and they have all gone on to have amazing West End careers and still are having. And the songs are brilliant and do check it out because it's incredible, the in-between. So the fourth one I'm going to talk about is The Girls, uh, the Gary Barlow musical, um, also now retitled The Calendar Girls uh, for the UK tour that's about to start. It was on in the West End in 2016, 2017, 2017. Um, and it didn't last for that long, but the album has recently come out and it's it's just incredible. When you listen to it, I listened to it properly and made notes to review it, as I do when I review albums. And the more I thought about it and the more I listened to it, the more I realised how incredible the story was and the message, the female empowerment and um, people throughout the ages, women, you know, whether you're young or whether you're old or whether you're quite old. Um, it's just, it's an incredible concept, really well told and really well written and all of the songs are just incredible. So uh, do go and give the girls slash calendar girls a listen because it's got some 
amazing songs on it. Um, my number one favourite cast recording is Carrie, the musical. Um, there is a cast recording out there um, from, I believe, the Seattle production um, that was done in 2012. And, oh my god, uh, we had a production of it in London, and it was on at the Southwark Playhouse. Um, Evelyn Hoskins played Carrie, and it was an amazing production, but the album itself, all of the songs are just incredible. Um, if you've not heard Carrie the musical, then it's without question my number one favourite cast recording ever. Ever. So go and listen to it. Because <sighs> I just love it. Carrie. So that is it. They are my top five favourite cast recordings. Uh, so please let me know in the comments below what your favourite cast recordings are and if you have heard any of mine and if you like them or if you don't like them, uh, please do let me know. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week for another vlog.